Good afternoon. Are we ready? Thank you for coming, fifth and sixth grade. My name is Mrs. Mays, if you don't know who I am, or Edison Mays' mother. Uh, this is Donna Dar, Madison, or Emily Dar's mother. We've known each other since Emily and Edison were three, and we wanted to inform you a little bit about what's going on today. April is Primary Immune Deficiency Disease Month. And with you guys being in school with Emily, you might know a little more than the elementary knew this morning. Uh, primary Immune Deficiency Disease, also known as PI, is when a person's immune deficiency is missing or does not function properly. We have come together today to support a friend and a classmate who lives with PI. That's Emily Dar. The Jeffrey Modell Foundation has honored her awareness activities and her mother's by inviting Emily and our school to participate in the annual Global Balloons and Bubbles launch in support of people living with PI. Ellsbury is one of just the few hundred locations in the entire world that was invited to per participate in this annual event. We're gonna have a few kids read you some stuff that you can do to help with awareness on this. Then we will release the balloons and the sixth grade will do bubbles and then I'll finish up with another little bit and then we'll continue with our day. So if you can listen quietly, we would appreciate it. with a network of trillions of cells that fight off the bacteria and viruses that can make us sick with colds, flu, and other infections. Most of the time our immune system works well, but occasionally we do get sick. Emily's body does not have the cells necessary to do this, which causes her to be sick a lot more often than we do. When she gets sick, it's usually more severe and takes her body longer to recover. There are over 200 types of PI and there's no cure for any of them. There are only treatments. <laughs> We can help our keep our classrooms clean. We can help Emily with assignments when she has to be absent. We can also help her teach others about PI like we are doing today. Most of us have known Emily since kindergarten. We have always known that she gets sick often, and for those of us who did not know why, now we do. There are many, including doctors, that still do not know and understand PI. In medical schools, students are taught an old saying, when you hear hoof beats, think horses, not zebras. To explain this, think of the hoof beats as being the symptoms of colds, flu, and other common infections. The horse would be the infection that clears up quickly and goes and stays away for a long period of time. A zebra would be the infection that stays more severe, lasts longer, and is hard to clear up and keeps coming back frequently. Emily is our zebra. for PI. Helen Keller once said, alone we could do so little, together we could do so much. Today we can help tell the world about PI with the hope that it helps the lead a patient to treatment that might not otherwise get there. Get your bubbles ready please. Balloon people come down here.
guys, that was that was very awesome. I can't even explain how great that is. Um, I just want you guys to understand what an honor it was to be here today. Only a, a, guys, can you listen, please? This was a huge honor because you got to remember, only 104 people in the whole world got to do this today, and Donna and Emily got picked out of the whole world. So this was a huge honor. Can you give Donna and Emily a hand, please? I want to thank Mr. Miller. He helped us organize it. Give Mr. Miller a big hand. Nick, our tech guy, Nick Bailey, big hand. I want to tell you guys, we're, uh, Ellsbury's a small community. Um, I'm from Ellsbury, and we are the Mighty Mighty Indians. We may be small, but we can make a big difference by being informed, educated, and continue to be kind and nice to one another and remember to be, stay together and be strong. Thank you for coming.